Welcome to Miss Smith's Math Tutorials. I'm Miss Smith. In this video, we're going to be talking about a second type of transformations. This one is called translations. So in the previous video, we talked about dilations. That's when we make a shape larger or smaller. In this one, we're going to be talking about translations. And translations slide um, either points or shapes up, down, left, and or right. Okay, so it just slides a shape in various directions. So the way we can tell how a shape is going to be moved is this is our rule. So I explained in the previous video that we have a, a bunch of rules for different types of transformations. Uh, for translation, the rule is XY becomes, that's what that arrow stands for, becomes, XY becomes um, X plus A, and then A is gonna be the determining factor. So that could be moving left or right. So the X value controls moving left or right. Okay, now the A will change. That It's just kind of a, a placeholder right now for whatever the number may be that we're putting in. The Y value, Y plus B, that controls whether our shape moves up or down. So whatever B is, if this is a negative, we'd be moving down. If it's a positive, we'd be moving up. And then whatever our value for B is. So let's see this based on just a couple points. So our first one says translate the point 2 comma 3 left 5 up 10. So I could look at a graph and I could count and I could say, okay, what would left 5 be and what would up 10 be? Um, or I could just follow the rule. So I would take this point 2, 3. And remember, we said the x value is what controls left or right. If it's negative, we're moving left. If it's positive, we're moving right. So because they've said left 5, we're going to take our x value, 2, and subtract 5. Now for our up 10, remember up is our y value. And if it's positive, that's when we move up. So in this case, we'll take... 3 and add 10 to it. So now of course we'd want to simplify this. So what is 2 minus 5? And 2 minus 5 is negative 3. And 3 plus 10 is positive 13. Let's look at this one. Translate the point negative 7, 10, right 2, down 4. So we're going to take that original point starting with negative 7. And if we're going to move right 2, that's our x, and be right is going to be the positive version. So plus 2. We want it to go 2 this way. And down 4, well, that's going to be our y value, and we want it to go down, so we'll say minus 4. So in this case, 10 minus 4. So negative 7 plus 2, that's going to give me negative 5. And 10 minus 4, that's going to give me 6. Now over here, we're actually going to see this on a graph, how it will work based on a given triangle. So this says translate triangle, C-A-T, cat, by the rule x plus 3, y minus 5. So this time we're actually seeing the rule in this rule form. We're going to be adding 3 to the x value, and we're going to be subtracting 5 from the y value. So in reality, this is going to translate to we're going to move right 3 and down 5. So some students like to just count. If they've got a picture in front of them, they like to count. Okay, I'm going to take this point C and I'm going to move right 3 and I'm going to move down 5. You can totally do that. I just like to show you both methods. So the other method is going to be to actually write each of these points out complete the rule, and then plot our new points. Um, in this case, counting would be faster. I completely agree, but I do want to show you both. So first, let's label what C is. 
So C currently is sitting at negative 1, positive 5. Negative 1, positive 5. A is sitting at negative 3, positive 2. T is sitting at 0, positive 1. Okay, now we're going to each individually take these points and follow this rule to create a new point and a new shape. So remember in the last video we talked about how this is the original C. We're going to create a new C and we call it C prime. It's like a little apostrophe and it means prime. It is our new point. So let's think negative 1 plus 3. Well, that would be positive 2. 5 minus 5. Well, that's going to be 0. For A, we're going to create an A prime. Negative 3 plus 3, that's going to be 0. 2 minus 5, that's going to be negative 3. Let's take this T and make a T prime. So 0 plus 3 is going to give me 3. 1 minus 5, that's going to give me negative 4. So this is what we call the pre-image, the blue. And what we're going to create is called the image. So let's actually plot that to see how this new triangle will look once we've translated it. So our first point C will fall at 2, 0, right here. And it's so important we label it correctly that you not only just do C, but you do the C prime. So we know this is the new picture. A prime, 0, negative 3. A prime and T prime 3 negative 4 and let's go ahead and connect Okay, so we can see that this shape did slide 3 to the right and 5 units down. I want you guys to try this one. Translate the point, negative 3, comma 7, write 2 units and up 10 units. If this is the pre-image point, what will be the image point? I will post the answer in the description below this video. This has been Miss Miss Math Tutorials.